Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be for from now to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy, Virgo. So a message for Virgo please in terms of love, romance, relationships and this will be for May 2021 please, Angel Spirits Guides. Oh nice, so I've got answers. Now this can be answers from the universe, but some of you might be getting an answer or you might be giving answers to somebody. Okay, love that card. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. As you know by now, we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Virgo. So message for Virgo, please. Love, romance, relationships. I've got the hangman reversed. Nine of coins, advice from spirit and outcome. We have the wheel of fortune. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo, thank you. I don't normally do reversals, but that fell out reversed, so we'll go with it. Okay, Virgo, so I have the Two of Swords and the Five of Wands. Judgment card um, clarifies the nine of coins and we have the wheel of fortune and the lovers. Bottom of the deck we have the world. feels like you're finding answers this month and I'm definitely getting in terms of getting clarity on a situation you know because these cards are this can be about tension struggle conflict and it can be to do with some difficult decision that you you need to make but there is indecision you just don't know which way to go you know you don't have the clarity that you need and the, you know this 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 five of wands energy can be on a situation or an issue or something that needs to be dealt with because it's kind of like Groundhog Day in the way that the issue, the conflict, uh, not being on the same page as each, other, as each other, it's just going round and round in a circle. And that's definitely what I'm feeling. It's almost kind of like you want to get off the roundabout to do with this situation, but you're not sure. I mean, again, in the hanged man being reversed is just clarifying that it's, it's a card of indecision uh, I'm not sure I don't have the clarity you know that hanged man is illusion and reality situation where you want to get you see you want to see through the clouds of confusion and just get to the direction that you want to go with the light bulb moment the eureka moment and it doesn't feel that that's presented being presented right now but it definitely feels like it will be because the judgment is some kind of decision or choice a judgment call and it feels for some of you you will be making some kind of judgment call and I like the fact that this is Venus in Virgo what I deserve what I don't deserve what's of value to me what's not of value to me you know this is also a card of independence it feels in this situation you're wanting to make some kind of decision to do with a love romance relationship in terms of what's of value to you, what's not of value to you, you know, this is somebody who generally stands in their own success, uh, material success as well, but also their own self-value, self-worth, self-esteem, being high again. Um, and it's Virgo energy, it's Venus in Virgo, so you fulfilling the promise of you. There's definitely this energy, Virgo, of there is some kind of judgment call that you need to make, you know, there, it will come to a point where and spirit is saying that there will be some kind of judgment call where you need to choose the path you know you have generally two paths before you staying on the current path that you're on which is this or going in a new direction and it can be about you know finding a solution or seeing a new direction or um 
getting that way forward, you know, that you've been wanting to get clarity on. You know, the hanged man is ultimately about alignment and it feels like there's just a lack of alignment here. But judgment is saying that there will be something that happens here. It will get to a point where there will be a requirement to take action, to choose your path, to make a judgment call. Wheel of Fortune, I mean, the, the lovers can be a card of decision, you know, so the lovers generally is a card of Gemini, two people who complement each other very, very well, who um, connect to each other like jigsaw pieces, they're not the same, uh, but they complement each other to become a very strong, perfect union. Um, there is harmony in this Virgo, however, you know, the lovers card is also a card about choices and it can be to do with matters of the heart. So it feels like there's some choice to make here. The Wheel of Fortune ultimately can be to do with how you move forward, how you open up. It links to some kind of turning point. Um, very much about life cycles as well. Uh, so endings and beginnings, that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. It feels like, I mean, there's definitely... And it can sometimes be to do with the Jupiterian energy here can also be to do with our experiences on the journey and what it's taught us and how you might be re-evaluating from your experience in terms of what's, what you hold dear, what's of value to you, what your key values are now going forward. And that will fuel helping some kind of decision here. Um, because the world card is a completion. So it is, there is a completion here. This can be the ending of a cycle. And the Wheel of Fortune is marking the ending of one cycle, the beginning of another. And it's to do with some kind of choice or decision. So it feels for some of you, something is coming to a head. Something that may be, I don't know whether you've been putting this off or sometimes that can be the hanged man as well. I'm putting it off because generally you just don't have the clarity when the hanged man's reversed. So there's definitely an energy here of something is going to happen or it's going to come to a point where you you need to make some kind of judgment call here, Virgo, on what's right for you in terms of moving forward. There is some kind of completion here, but you know, the world card can be the ending of one cycle, the beginning of the next. However, you are wanting your will to open up towards some kind of new beginning energy. That depends on the decision that you make. But certainly for some of you, the answers that have eluded you, you are finding. You are getting the answer that you need to make some kind of judgment call decision this month. Okay. So like I said, it's not for everybody. You know, these cards are what they are. I don't, you know, uh, the card, I don't pull all the nice ones out. So it's one of those. It is just, that is the message for whoever. Okay. And you'll know the time to act. Yeah, I love, oh gosh, this is so, such a nice card. We've got Golden Unicorn Ascension. And that is absolutely the judgment card. Um, this is about stepping into your light, you know can be about forgiveness, letting go, releasing as well, Virgo, if that's required. Um, but it's to do with some kind of judgment call. So we have awaken to your soul's potential. And that's what you are doing, your soul's potential, awakening of the souls, you know, um, the rising of the souls with the judgment. So there's definitely an energy here of, you know, this is Venus in Virgo, the promise of you. I definitely feel you are you are deciding what's of value to you and what's not in your own right, whether you're choosing to be independent or not. The nine of, of pentacles can just be somebody who stands in their own independence and their own success in their own right. But it's not necessarily they're separate from a relationship. It's just they have their own self-value, self-worth, uh, capability to take care of themselves as well. So it feels there's some kind of decision or choice that you need to make here but you're going to be getting some answers that's for sure and you'll be clear in terms of how you need to move forward i love the fact you've got the unicorn card 
So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.